You know, friends, I'm starting to uh, actually feel pretty good about modern medicine. I, I, I gotta say, we have, well, what's that commercial? We've come a long way. I, I'm beginning to think yes. And, and the way things are going, whoo, I think things can get even better for people staying healthy. Case in point is uh, me. Uh, I think as I've told you, I, I did have some bleeding, what I would call urinary bleeding. Okay. And again, it's, these things happen. That's just how it is. And uh, to me, it's um, not something that's, I guess, what would you call it, salacious to talk about. It's just, it's how it goes. If you're sick there, you're sick there. And that's that. And it's, you know, naturally, it's going to worry you. You think, gosh, maybe I got a kidney stone shaping up or uh, some kind of cancer or uh, scrofula. You, you name it. It could be anything. So I've gone to the doctor and they, uh, they, they was running tests. I haven't really heard any major results yet. Today, though, they uh, put me through one heck of a test. They put me in uh, one, Im an imaging machine that looks actually kind of like it's about the size of one of those boilers I used to work on, only it's a, a radiology device. <coughs> Somehow you slide down, you're like on, um, you're on like a little rolling uh, table, um, much like a mechanic would use to get under, uh, you know, get to, on his back to get to the uh, transmission under your car, only these things are usually curved. And by the way, very comfortable. And, um, I, um, I don't know. I, I knew I was going to have to go for that test today. So, you know, I had to fast the night before slept. I'm thinking, God, I'm, I'm kind of worried. What's it going to find? You know, the, the, the guy's going to look at the, the, the technician's going to look at the, uh, the results and start crying and oh, you're too young to go. You're too young to go doc, doc. Oh, but no, he's, he's there you go. He says, now we'll send the results to your, uh, to your doctor no, okay and uh and other than that he says get your uh you can pull up your dungarees now you're all set i said you know these things didn't you used to have to get like you have to be like in a a little flimsy like white apron huh he says yeah one time he says but not maybe uh maybe some other uh places they do that still but he says no you're you just in your underwear that's good and I said, well, you're kidding. He said, no, the machine goes right through all that. Well, all the imaging is, it, it's amazing how it works. I said, well, roll me in. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to take a bit of a nap. He says, yeah, well, suit yourself. He rolls me in. <coughs> Excuse me. I hear a bunch of banging and popping on that thing. You know, it's making all sorts of racket. Again, it remind. I kept looking for my uh, wrench, you know, so my, <laughs> or my uh, steam chisel to um to get to work on the boiler because honestly they're shaped like again uh cleaver brooks boilers uh or superiors also and uh, again a can on its side only way bigger and uh the uh i don't know he rolled me out he says there i said what did i move he says no no you're fine you're doing great he says no just here you know, let's move okay get, yeah there ah there get, get, you put your uh, shirt over to about here. Okay, good. You're going back in. And I said, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't have to rip all my clothes off or nothing. He says, no, no. He says, you're fine. The, the beams go right through the, uh, that apron, that apron thing you're wearing. He, and I said, wow. I said, well, okay. I said, well, I'll, I'll see you when you're done. Uh, are you going to go take a coffee break while I'm in here or something? He says, no, no, no. He says, you'll see. He, so he rolls me in there. I hear all the banging and popping again in about three minutes. Okay, you're done. Come on out. Here, get your, uh, yeah, get, get your drawers back up. Watch your belt buckle. Okay, and uh, there, all done. I said, you're kidding. I'm done? He says, yeah. I say, you don't need me to flip over on my belly. You don't need me to go in head first. Not, nothing. No, he says, you're fine. I said, how can this be? He says, well, it, things have, have improved since you last did this. Well, how long ago was it? I said, gee, three, four years. I think I had a brain scan. 
they didn't find much. <laughs> he says, well, and uh, there you go. Walked out the door. They handed me a little uh, DVD. I said, what is this, greatest hits of the, uh, <laughs> of, of the brain scan? Or, well, she says, in a way it is. This is for your doctor. Take it over to your doctor, and uh, he'll, he'll read it and get back to you as to what, whatever it is that might be bugging your, uh, uh, your innards. I said, well, okay. And uh, that, there you go. It was, I, honestly, I, was, I think I was in and out in a half hour. And I know, there's been times I've been in those machines, oh my God, it's way too long. And the, uh, I mean, it, you almost want a little TV or something. So, all in all, I got to say, they, they sure are coming a long way uh, to, uh, to keep us healthy. I got to say. You see a, a technician, nurse, doctor, you might want to go pat them on the back because honestly, I think they're, uh, I, I think they're doing really, really well. Okay, catch you later. Bye bye. Oh, wait a minute.